when you when you heard about the boys trying to go to Beamish, what were your thoughts? Uh, I was very scared for especially Bradley, Alex and Jake because going to Stanley is a very scary place. All right, so when I first heard about everyone going to Beamish, you know, I was actually I was amazed. Now, what I what I realised is that it's never actually been done before. No one's ever went to Beamish, and no one's ever documented Beamish. It's definitely not a tourist attraction for people to go and uh, go and record. Why was that mask? Average going off east experience. 28 Chester Street, better than Arriva. Hello boys, it's Lord Lawson here. It's very loud. So, the journey with... The journey with uh, me and the boys obviously started with going to the bus station. We had to catch the bus, the 20th to be uh, precise. This was the first small step in the, the big marathon. Uh, of the Mesh Museum. When we were on the bus, we, we, we realised we missed the stop. So, um, so we were thinking, where on earth are we going to get off? And then we, it's, it's in the blink of an eye, we were on the motorway. So, after the motorway, we were, we were just dinging the bell, asking the bus driver when on earth he's going to stop. So he finally stopped, but it was about 15 minutes walk to Beamish. So, uh, Jake, what's your opinions on uh, being missing the bus stop? Well, uh, but didn't miss it, didn't go. Bradley had the very stupid idea to stop in the middle of uh, to tell the bus driver to pull over in the middle of the motorway, which is absolutely daft. So, uh, at least we're not here and we haven't been crushed into the Baku by uh, a few cars that are going past in the middle of the fucking motorway. But yeah, we're, it's going to take we're about half an hour, 45 minutes to walk up. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, it's Wait. just a bit, bit of a bad start of the day, but. Well, all I remember is getting up to so the bus would go into Beamish, and I look, and the driver goes left. And I didn't understand what was going on, so eventually I go up to him and I say, "I oh, was stopping soon," and he says, "Yes." He decides to drive down the motorway for two minutes, then turn and stop. So we all got off absolutely furious and had to do a 20 minute walk to Beamish. Alex, what's your opinion? Yeah. You know what it is, mate? Since the whole point of the fucking bus for most people is to want to go to Beamish, and the fact that he didn't tell we were gonna, weren't going to stop at Beamish, I think it's absolutely shocking to be honest. And I will I will be filing a complaint against that driver to get him sacked. So obviously the first big problem of the day was uh, missing the bus stop. How did you feel when that happened? When I saw the museum gates were shut, and the bus drives straight past the museum. I kind of got a feeling of how this day was going to go, especially when the bus driver lied to us and said the bus stop was just down the road. Yeah, it was another 10 minutes. Um, so the bus driver skipped Beamish for no reason. He could have he could have just went through the, the road, right? And then he should have pulled over on the side of the road to that loft. And now we're gonna have to walk down a motorway to get back Beamish, which is it real eagle. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we don't get arrested because uh, then George won't be getting his camera back. So it was it was at this point where obviously the first problem came about a uh, big big thing missing it, missing the the bus stop. Obviously put us in a bit of a bad mood, put many people in a bad mood, especially uh, Jake Lawson. He wasn't very happy, but. It was the first sign of how things would go on this uh, trip. Hello everyone. Now, so we're in an underpass, okay? So, um, because we obviously got lost on the bus. Now, we've got the words here, Mike is a nonce. Now, let's, let, let's go over here. The, the word nonce means paedophile, which isn't a very nice word to call someone. So, it must mean that he, he has a very, like, he, his girlfriend is a lot younger than him. Um, so, that's not a very good term. Um, but then you go over here and you've got the word C, right? So let's analyse the word C. So C, uh, that stands for cunt. And uh, Billy Butcher from uh, um, The Boys uses this word. Um, so yeah, this is this is what the underpass look like, current, current situation. Uh, we'll be getting a beer in about half an hour, so yeah. 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 
I still masturbate. <coughs> so it was at this point where I started to actually notice something. I started to notice a bit of a, a bit of a theme, uh, and everyone in the group was starting to talk and a bit fed up with each other, a bit annoyed, a bit angry. You could say tensions were sort of rising. Cunt. Since the whole point of the fucking bus for most people is they want to go to Beamish, and the fact that he didn't tell fucking motorway. <laughs> Still walking to Beamish. Be I think I'm gonna set a camera up, I'll just see him. I'm sure that bit. Been at this unbelievable pace, I turned the temperature up all the way to sweat up on my face. If you get. <laughs> Still walking to Beamish. So we've just, uh, we're very close to Beamish now, are you? What do you think of Bradley at this moment? I think when they set a camera up, I was actually hurt. I showed that a bit. And uh, wished I never got a camera. And um, started feeling very travel sick on that bus. And then, um, are you enjoying the fresh air though? I am enjoying the fresh air. It's really warm. It is warm. So, finally, after all the, the hurt, all the pain, all the anger, all of the just things going wrong. We finally, finally made it to Beamish Museum. Everything was perfect. Give no effort if you got no money, then I got a cheap method. Crack it open, throw it in. After we finally got to Beamish, after a bit of community outreach, um, analyzing the graffiti on the underpass and helping people find places who were in cars, um, everyone was buzzing. Everyone was buzzing. It felt like a mission complete. I, I, I was feeling amazed because we were finally there after that 15 minute walk, going through hell and back, going through the woods, going through the park. Like just everything was going wrong, but we were finally at the gate, so everyone was relieved. A panalytic cook, bitch, now that's a real education. Fuck books if you want to make it. Opinion, Alex. Come all the way here on some stupid 28 bus. Stupid fucking driver, and now the place is shut. What a joke! And now the place is shut. And now the place is shut. Shut. <sighs> Beamish was closed. <laughs> it was closed. <laughs> and after all that journey, it was, <laughs> it was closed. I was. Devastated. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it. Took nearly an hour to get there. I thought Bradley was going to be sick on the bus. It was an absolute nightmare. When we finally got there, Bradley pulled his phone out. It came up that Beamish was closed on the Friday. <sighs> and just before we walked through the Museum of the Gates, I decided to have a little check on my phone after um, Aaron was joking on the bus being closed. We didn't check. And um, what did we learn when we arrived at Beam? Check if it's closed before you fucking go. Final remarks. The museum's closed. I saw that the museum was closed and it was just devastating. All, all the time wasted, but the only hope in sight was Stanley McDonald's in a trip on the X31. All the flavors that be dropping mad knowledge on these pussy ass canned goods. We got chicken and beef. The Cold. <sighs> Get in college, acknowledge all the flavors that be dropping mad knowledge on these pussy ass canned goods. We got chicken. Come on, dude, this is such a count you're in. So, uh, what? what? We're currently on the bus to um, the Stanley bus station. We've retreated to the Stanley ends. Okay. Where are we heading? We are heading to Stan McDonald's and then we are coming back to you. So, uh, yeah, Stanley McDonald's incoming and then we're going to regroup, re, re, uh, realign our ideas and stuff. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then, yeah, we're going to retry, re go, regroup and go again. How would you say standing effect? Oh. <laughs> 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 
such a cunning. Um, everything failed, but I would like to say that going all the way to Stanley on two buses, going there to Beamish, was very dangerous, and the bo the boys, um, the boys really took a big a big risk going all the way there. And honestly, it's outstanding. I was me, me and Johnny were very, very scared for the mall, um, but we did end up searching it up because we wanted to see the dangers that they could be going through, and then we then seen the in bright red letters closed gonna be the boost the manhood anybody want a piece of me will have to get this ramen first so <laughs> <laughs> they went all the way to beamish for nothing without checking <laughs> 35 cents a pack, three for a dollar, unbelievable pricing, that's the future of a blue So, as a whole, would you say you regret going to Beamish? I did regret it because I um, had to go Stanley after, which made me ill. Um, but I, I would have preferred to just stay in Newcastle, definitely, because that journey made me sad.